So this is a serial monitor of our Arduino. You can see it's it's temperature sensing using our digital Sensiron sensor, um, and the temperature is 28.68 degrees and has humidity and dew point. That second line, which is just 29 right now, is our input temperature, which is controlled by our um, potentiometer right here. And what's happening is basically our code is first checking if there's motion, which this is the PIR sensor. So that's the first kind of if statement. And this LED is just showing, yes, there is motion. Um, after it's, it's tested that that's true, then it's uh, running the next nest, which is the if statement asking, it's basically comparing if the actual temperature, which is the, the data the temperature sensor is sensing, is less than this user input temperature, then it turns on our relay, which Ted valiantly soldered together and managed not to kill himself. Do we have one of the sample, re the extra relays? Yep. Um, the relay is a 5 volt control, it's an electromagnet, which when the 5 volt current is run through it, it, it uh, connects this 120 volt circuit, and our relays are pretty beefy, rated for 30 amps at 240 volts, so um, pretty beefy. Um, so then, let's see. This is a GFCI outlet. Um, in case it, you know, there is a uh, some leakage or something, it's going to kill the circuit, <laughs> so it doesn't kill us. So this is plugged into the wall. Our heater is plugged into this, and what you can see is is basically so the heater's on right now. You can hear it probably because the temperature is 28.2 degrees Celsius and the desired temperature is 29 so we're just gonna watch the temperature rise it's rising I'm gonna just reposition this so that the temperature sensor is affected 28.47 30.8 so this should be the point so you see it's pulling, it sees the heater just turned off. And so now the the relay is turned off by the Arduino. And now it's 32. 32. And what you'll see is as soon as the temperature gets below 29 or below 30, it's gonna turn back on again. So Jean Zhao and Ted are gonna blow on the temperature sensor or fan it <laughs> to cool it back down. What Chinese labor can do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're a part of it too. We're okay, we're gonna get to that critical point pretty soon. When it gets close, stop fanning so they can hear it, turn it back on. Yeah. It's 30.5. 3.427. Never have three people been pleased by so little. Okay, you can see it's 30. 30.2. I'm gonna just watch this so you can see this is turning on. Just tell me when it updates. Okay, next time I should. No, actually, it has to fall below, oh, below 29. 29. Oh, below 29? Keep fanning. No. <laughs> what a tease. <laughs> trying to build up the suspension. And after this, we'll just show the, um, if we stop moving, it'll also turn off, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's at 29.1. Silence. Oh. <laughs> 29 point 29.8. 0.4. Okay, 29. 29. 
28.98. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, Did you now, hear now, the sound? Now, okay. The so, proximity, the motion sensor. Yeah, we're... Not, we're um, Let's test the motion sensor. So, Ted is over here. You can see the lights on. If Ted moves... Oh, it got hot again too soon. Which is the light basically okay. shows the but, okay. motion. But what I want to show is that the, the heater will also turn off if there's no motion. Yeah. So we need it to cool down quickly. Oh, it's okay. I'll just turn up the desired temperature. Oh, yeah, yeah. To that like 40 or something. Okay, 36. So now the desired temperature is 36, you can see. So the heater's going to run. Um, it's not going to be 36 degrees for a while, but if Ted stops moving, what you'll see is that this, if we all, basically no one's over here in the range of the PIR sensor. If we, there, you see, so you can see the temperature is only 29, the input is supposed to be 36, I just moved in front of it, so it just turned back on, but there's that kind of override. This is from Jin Zhao, Ted. <laughs> and Alex.